GUI operating systems use what is known as messaging architecture. And this was created by great Alan Kay, who is not only the creator of Smalltalk, but he literally invented object-oriented programming and single-handedly created graphical user interface which the entire world uses today. So what is messaging architecture? When an application creates a window and when some interaction happens with the window, we tend to feel that the window directly communicates with its application. But this is not so. For example, if click of add button has to call a function, we think this is what happens. Nope. Instead, all communications must be sent to the operating system first. Take example of Windows which has GUI, user, and kernel. It has a system queue. A common message queue where all running Windows send their messages to. So in fact, this button actually sends a message to this system queue. Now the system queue will sort the messages based on which application they should be sent to. And this sorting happens inside the operating system where messages are placed in separate application queues to be sent to the application. This is known as posting of messages. Hereafter, these messages are received by the application. To do this, applications usually have a loop called message bump, message loop, or event loop. This is where all the messages meant for this application arrive. This event loop then picks up a message and calls the appropriate function. So rather than going directly from window to its application, the message makes its way through the system queue, the operating system, application queue, arriving at event loop and then getting clicked. So why was this queue created? See, early days, the computers were not so fast and they were not sure if too many messages could be handled by applications uh, at a reasonable rate. So messages were queued so that while application is taking a little time, it could still receive messages which it could act upon once it's through with the current task. This is why all operating systems have queues for communication. Now let's take a look uh, by writing a simple web app where let's say I put up an input element with a spinner and let's take a look at this uh, console here. Now going back here let me add some script. So I'm going to add a button which is going to freeze my event loop. At this moment it doesn't because we just say call this function frozen. It says frozen started, frozen ended. Now let's go and click on this frozen. It says frozen has started, frozen has ended but didn't take any time. Going back here, let's add a delay. So this is an artificial delay. I'm simulating a long running function for these many milliseconds. Basically what we are doing here is record the start time 
and then keep comparing the current time the start time as long as it's still less than milliseconds just loop around doing nothing let's call this function here with 10000 milliseconds now that's about 10 seconds now what's going to happen is when we click on frozen it will say frozen started now it's doing this and it would not end the function during this time if there are more messages coming through they would have to wait here they would not be picked up for processing and the entire web page will freeze let's take a look so this time i am able to move around click on the spinner right click get a pop up menu but the moment i say frozen you can see that i am not getting any spinner control i can't click here i can't type even if i right click the pop up menu does not appear immediately if at all it will appear only after the frozen ends what did, why did this happen that's because all the messages that is spinner control right click pop up all these are waiting in the application queue because the application is doing a long run and knowing not going back to the event loop to read more messages some people say oh this is easy just put a time out so let's put a time out so we write a function to use time out we say time out started fire a time out for long run after a delay of 5 seconds and this is a parameter being passed to long run which is 10 seconds will this really solve the problem let's try this out so now we have this which works fine because there is no other function running right click works i'll stay away from frozen because for the next 10 seconds everything will freeze instead i'm going to do time out and as you can see for the next 5 seconds nothing goes wrong but then again it freezes again the spinner control is not working i can't click inside the box and the pop up happens only after the frozen or rather long run ends so this this basically means that time out does not actually solve the problem of application queue or event loop freezing all it does is it delays the inevitability by starting the process after a few milliseconds but does not solve the problem of delays or freezing in web pages